Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, gyroplane enthusiast shindig on for 2022, Senator Inhofe to retire in 2023, Dyer sees increasing business. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Gyroplane enthusiast shindig on for 2022. The Benson Days event is on for 2022 with a few days of all things gyroplanes. Each year, the Benson Days team puts together a weekend of rotorcraft education, safety, and fun to promote the use and enjoyment of gyroplanes throughout the aviation industry. Named for the creator of the original gyrocopter, Igor Benson, the event aims to quote, once and for all eliminate the phrase, gyroplanes are the best kept secret in aviation, end quote. While gyros are the primary focus of the weekend, other rotorcraft are welcome thanks to the considerable degree of overlap between the two bodies of pilots. A variety of similar aircraft often make their appearance with powered parachutes, trikes, and a variety of other experimental aircraft often out to play. A variety of vendors, events, and camping accommodations are in plentiful supply, with a variety of gyroplanes on display and in the air, with many a friendly owner eager to talk about the ups and downs of their favorite aircraft. The event will be held in sunny Wachula, Florida, beginning on Wednesday, March 30th, and running until Saturday, with a fair amount of stragglers flying around on Sunday, to be sure. Coming up after the break, FAA lead candidate builds media presence. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. FAA lead candidate builds media presence. A possible candidate for incoming FAA administrator has been laying the groundwork in establishing his candidacy. John Bocheri, former fighter and United pilot, congressman and Air Force commander, made his bureaucratic bones in the investigation of the Colgan Air Flight 3407. Now having built a suitable resume for Chief Administrator of the FAA, Bocheri lies near the top of the list for the head honcho of the Aviation Regulator, alongside David Bourne, Director of the Teamsters Airline Division, and Joe DePete, President of the Airline Pilots Association. Navy completes F-35 recovery. The F-35 has gone for a few too many swims over the past year, said the commander in charge of salvaging the most recently submerged fighter. Navy Captain Gareth Healy oversaw the operation to recover an F-35C Lightning II from the icy depths, dredging it up from 12,400 feet. A delicate combination of remotely piloted diving equipment and a diving construction crane allowed the aircraft to be pulled up almost intact, but with unspecified damage. Quantity discount? Charter provider buys 20 PC-12s. Tradewind Aviation signed an order for a batch of 20 new Pilatus PC-12 NGX aircraft, almost doubling their current fleet of the Type to 38. The PC-12 has entrenched itself as the more effete premium single-engine turboprop on the market, combining affordability, reliability, and capacity, with cabin furnishings upscale enough for the kind of clientele most common to private, chartered passenger service. 
MQ-9 reaches 2 million flight hours. The MQ-9 program has passed 2 million flight hours in service around the world, proving the General Atomics UAV's place as the standby in duty-ready autonomous aircraft. The MQ-9 has made it all the way to Block 5 in its life cycle, now boasting 27 hours of endurance at speeds up to 240 knots up to a ceiling of 50,000 feet. Using its embedded video capture, synthetic aperture radar, and more, the aircraft is a reliable choice for a remote-controlled eye in the sky. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Senator Inhofe to retire in 2023. NBAA President Ed Bolin thanked Oklahoma Senator Jim Inhofe for his faithful support of the GA industry following his office's announcement that he will retire in January of next year. The senator has long been a friend of the industry, having a hand in many of the rights and advancements seen in aerospace legislation going back decades. His work was vital to direct the General Aviation Revitalization Act, which was passed during his time in the House of Representatives. He also advanced the medical certification process for recreational pilots, which later made its way into the 2016 FAA Reauthorization Bill, as well as the ability to appeal emergency revocations of certificates to the NTSB. Professional pilots especially owe the senator their thanks, as he was the one who introduced legislation that brought the commercial pilot retirement age to 65 from 60. Quote, as the longest serving federal elected official in Oklahoma history, the lasting impact of Senator Inhofe's accomplished political career, especially for the betterment of the nation's aviation infrastructure, is testament to his dedication to public service and commitment to principles that will continue to shape this country for years to come. The general aviation community is proud to call Senator Inhofe not just a friend, but a champion, end quote, said Bolin. After these messages, Dyer sees increasing business. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Dyer sees increasing business. Dyer reports promising increases in sales since 2021. Last year, deliveries for the TBM series topped 51 planes of TBM 940 and 910 versions, as well as a fleet order for four 940s bound for the French government-run flight test group. The majority of the metal moved was bound once again for North America, which accounted for 39 aircraft in total, with a smattering of European states rounding out the rest of the numbers. Dyer's acquisition of the Kodiak 100 led to the first iteration of the aircraft in over three years, the Series 3. The updated plane proved popular, selling 17 aircraft to a, quote, mix of corporate and business operators, private owners, and special mission customers, end quote, again, primarily in North America. Quote, we're proud of these impressive results for Dyer's aircraft division in producing and delivering Kodiak and TBM aircraft which are even more noteworthy considering the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on the supply chain, its effect on the economy, and the downturn in international travel, end quote, commented Didier Kea, the Dyer CEO. Quote, the perspectives for 2022 are extremely positive, and it could be the best year ever for our aircraft manufacturing activity, end quote. Well, that's our program for today. 
You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.